Okay, David Cohen, you just made a good speech about women's rights and, uh, and all that, but I don't want to talk about that. What do you want to talk about, Charles? Methadone. Methadone, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, no. Are you educated in what's going on here? Well, or you're David Cohen, I'm, the leader of the Green Party? Yeah, I, okay. I'm somewhat educated, yeah. <clears throat> so, what were you saying? 98% of the costs of the methadone maintenance program in this province is going to pharmacies. They are making a lot of money off of the methadone program uh, when it should be uh, put into serving people who need that support. So, you know, a, a dose of methadone costs 40 to 50 cents uh, per day, and uh, per day the uh, dispensing fees that have to be paid to the pharmacy are 9.50, almost $10. Uh, that's not right. It's not. It's not right. Uh, what we need to do is have a program uh, where methadone can be accessed uh, through other means, through say pharmacists or nurses. Right here on in Fredericton. Okay, like St. John and Fredericton. I've been fighting this for about 15 years. When people, the addict, addicted people, used to go to jail for a crime they committed to feed their habit, and they had to go to Cambridge Narrows all the way up there. They had no methadone clinic in Fredericton, St. John, and now, finally, these people have help right around the corner, which they had that in Vancouver, too. Uh, isn't this to stop people from committing crime and killing other people? Is it is the way, in other words, if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know? Well, it is broken. People, I mean, people need, act, of course, you don't want to change the access that people have to methadone maintenance. And what we want to do is change the way where the money is going. 98% of it is going to the pharmacists. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But the pharmacists, they become to have a public relation with the person that's addicted. They they know the people that's outside. They know the routine. So, 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 so would a nurse or a nurse practitioner or a pharmacist working out of a community health center. I mean, if you had pharmacists working out of a community health center on salary, it would be far less cheap, uh, less expensive, and there would be, if anything, a better relationship developed between people coming into the center and that pharmacist. Is the government going to pay taxi for these people that can't uh, make it to the right now they could make just two or three blocks away but well, if it's farther need community health centers across this province handy for people where they live so if you had that around the province that's going really equal the money that so, you have well, now no, because you're not just setting being set up for this purpose you're being set up to care for people's health yeah. overall yeah. so i i have no doubt that we can uh, do this in a, in a different way that ensures that the money goes where it's really needed rather than the vast majority of it going to pay pharmacies. Why don't we wait five, ten years and see how work is going to go? This is just just the beginning there. Right? Like I told you before, there was no nothing. People in St. John, they were so. This isn't about changing the changing the access to methadone. This is about changing the where the money goes. And I'm saying we shouldn't be putting 98 percent of the money in the methadone program into the pockets of pharmacies. So you are educated on this issue. I'm somewhat educated on this issue. You've been in Soup Kitchen yet? Yes. Have you been there? I've been there, yeah. Have you been in the lineup and see the people that's yeah. on I've seen people there, sure. Methadone and those poor... Yeah, Did sure. you see it? We're not, I'm not talking, You've been there? I'm not talking about undermining the methadone program. What I'm talking about is where the money goes. We need to put the money into people and not into pharmacies. Something tells me we'll discuss this issue one more time. I'm going to bring your concern to to the pharmacist, and then I'll come back. We'll do this part two. Hey, isn't this better than question period? No. Keep up, keep up the good work.